going to do is take the uh, EverWebinar uh, registration button that comes from this uh, webinar that I'm working on here. And I'm going to be sending this over to my registration page, which is at this domain right here. Okay, and this is um, hosted by ClickFunnels, and this is something that when I click on the button to register, it's going to pop the Webinar Jam registration process. I can pick the date, and then it'll give me the time that uh, that I want to do things, and it'll follow the Ever Webinar process. Okay, so. First things first, you, you put in the, the URL and all this stuff. I usually just do first name and email address. You can do the phone number um, for the SMS messages and that kind of thing later, but you know, for me anyway, I would just choose first name and email. And then as I get through the end of this process, I'm gonna pause this until I get to the button text. So one sec. So now I've gotten to the end of my setup process and I click the go live button. And it gives you a couple of different things. The first is, is that the webinar you know, invitation link, I've got another landing page. This is the one that's built inside of Webinar Jam. I don't like this as much as the one that is beautiful that's from ClickFunnels, so I want to use this one. So what I'm going to do is, um, inside our webinar, I'm going to grab this registration button code, okay, and then I'm going to take it and pop the code into Sublime Text in this case, but you can do it with any text editor or if you have Coda or Dreamweaver or any of that kind of stuff, you can break this apart. Now, I'm gonna pause this just so that you can see the code a little bit better, reorganize things, so hang on a sec. Okay, so I've taken this code and I've made it a little bit easier to follow along with, but um, it's usually all pushed together because that will make it um, as minified as it can be so that it'll run a little bit faster. So here's the, this is linking to the style sheet that's over at Webinar Jam so that it kind of makes the button look the way they want it to look. Then this thing puts it, it like it uh, centers it and then makes it 300 pixels wide. You might end up wanting to change this later. I'll show you that later down the line. Then this is actually the button itself. Okay, so if you wanted to change the text that's on the button, you'd take this span tag here, you change it to like, save your seed now, you know, that kind of a thing, okay? All of this code from the link tag down to the closing div is all the HTML. And then the rest of these you can see start with the word script. That's all JavaScript. Okay, so what I'm going to do is these are going to go in the footer of the page, okay, in ClickFunnels. And then the rest of this is going to go where you want the button to show up. Okay, so let's see how that would look. I'm first going to take these three and I'm going to just cut that out, flip over into my ClickFunnels page. Okay, open this up. And then in the settings, go to tracking codes and you can put it in right there. Okay. Now, um, one thing that I noticed, just so that you can see that this is, you have some flexibility here, okay, is that I actually put it in with a custom JavaScript right above the button. So you can do it either way, okay? You just need to have it be separated because if you put the JavaScript in with the HTML, it really doesn't work very well, okay? And then the button code, you can probably jump ahead on this. You're, you're cutting that out and you're putting it in here in the custom HTML. Now one thing I did, you can see that the width on the code here says 300 pixels. Over here, I just changed it to be 100%, which made it the full width of whatever this section is, which is going to make it a little bit easier to respond on phones and other things like that for whatever kind of device you're on. So you do that, and then you hit save, and everything's uh, you know ready to go at that point. So um, that's really all you need to do is just take this code and split it apart so that the, the JavaScripts that are in the script tags are separate from the custom HTML for the button. And then of course the, the good part is is that then if you wanted to do something with this and take the, the button and um, change things around, you know, what you could do just as a little bonus here is if like you wanted to change the color and not have it be that blue, okay? What you can do is like look at the button here, and you see that over here. I, what I did was I right clicked and did inspect element. This is in Chrome, but you know other browsers will have about the same thing. 
So you can get the, the button code, and so that's button.css3 button. Okay, I'm gonna come in here and do custom CSS. Okay, I'm gonna paste in here button CSS3 button, and then you do the curly brackets. Okay, for that's how you do CSS editing. And I'm getting rid of some of those spaces there. And now if I look back in here, it says background, and then it gives me that kind of bluish color. Okay, so what color do I want? Well, let's just keep it really, really simple for this. Okay, background, green. Okay, you probably already saw what happened. It turned this button green. Now it's still the blue on hover, so if I wanted to change that on the hover color, what you can do is, not the animation, sorry, wrong thing there. I click the little thumbnail and hit hover, okay, and now it shows me button CSS3 focus and hover. These are two different states, okay? So I can take this back into my custom CSS, curly brackets again, and then I'll do background red. Okay, so what happens now? Reload the page. Now, it's still caching. This will happen where Cloudflare sometimes will cache things for a pretty good long time, but let's see if it won't do it right here. Yeah. In the, in the preview, you can see this, and all we got to do is just make sure the Cloudflare cache is cleared, and then you'll see what's happening. So that's hopefully something that will help you guys take EverWebinar and incorporate it a little bit more into your ClickFunnels pages. Hope this was a big help. Um, this is Skip from 16wells.com. And uh, if you have any other questions, just ask in the Facebook group or something. Thanks.